Cameron was in Egypt's land. Let my Cameron go. Everyone, it's Nathan here. Thanks for joining me on this unholy hot day. I'm out here in my office because I'd find some unholy wrath if I decided to do this inside. I am smoking my Kamoys Guild Hall. that I got from my dad a few weeks ago. And in it, I am enjoying a nice light dose of Green Dragon. So, It's a good 4th of July weekend. Not without its faults. So I'm going to... Uh, there's another wasp. Come on, buddy. I just killed one of your friends. I'm going to find him. I'll get you, too. He's right down there. It's fun. So anyway, so I record the fireworks show on Saturday. Fantastic show. I'll tell you what. When you pull your resources, who needs the big city fireworks? This is a great 20 minute show. I'm going to start putting it up here and I'm just going to have some, I'm going to be the background noise because you'll notice that my phone decided to get a bug up its butt and not have its mic work. Isn't that wonderful? But, we're less than a football field's length away from where they're setting off the fireworks out in Podunk, Ohio, where everybody's contributing to this gentleman to put on this fireworks show, so he's got thousands of dollars worth of fireworks going off for 20 whole minutes. It was beautiful. My daughter right next to me is just enjoying everything about it. My other one, who's a lot more social, is off making a new best friend every 10 seconds and enjoying the company with those kids. Terrence, if you're watching, there you go, buddy. Next day, my daughter gets to got to march in the parade for the first time as a freshman on her 4th of July parade and it was really fun. She did a good job. Kept the lefts on the left and the rights on the right. Serious look going forward because it's a proper band. her mom and her sister are like, why is she, she looks angry, like, you're supposed to, it's eyes front, <laughs> so 
show. In the process of the band, I brought my pipe pouch and was loading up my pipe, went to reach in my pocket for my lighter, and nowhere to be found. Figured, well, shoot, left it in my garage. Now I'm sitting down here this morning, looking for my lighter. Nowhere to be found. And I know I was using it in the office in here the other day. So uh, I'm thinking that near brand new Zippo was in my pocket at the fair before the parade, and I reached in to pull my wallet out for something before the parade and knocked my Zippo out and now somebody else gets to enjoy the fruits of my labor. So, blessings to them. Now I've got to get a new lighter because that lighter was mm, something else. I really enjoyed that pipe lighter. So, I got that going for me, which is nice. But it was still a good weekend. Spending time with the girls, my wife, enjoying the fireworks. We we're at a pool party the night the, before the fireworks and. I'm not one for lots of activity in the water, personally. Occasionally I'll get in a pool, but for the most part I'll just enjoy company, enjoy the sounds. At one point, I'm sitting poolside with my feet in the water. And this little girl, about three year, two, two years old, something like that, gives me one of those foam noodles that's pressurized that you can suck up water into it and then push it and it shoots a stream out. So that became a weapon that I used to terrorize my youngest child, who was already in the pool, telling me to stop even though she's already wet. But hey, the logic of the young. My oldest had the other one. He's also shooting her. So that was, that was fun. The minute my oldest decided to acquiesce her pool noodle gun to somebody else, She became my target. And she didn't want to get in the pool. So, that wasp is really gaining my ire. So, anyway. my oldest decided to become my target by giving up her gun. That's a shame. It really wanted to die too. Hmm. So. Anyway. Where was I? Nice. So my daughter gave up her squirt gun, pool cannon, whatever you want to call it, 
I still had it, so girly squeals became her method of communication after that. So, that goes on. She's running away. And I'm sitting in an area where I can't really, I can see her. But anything that's like below her shoulders, I can't see. So I just lob a shot over. Didn't realize my wife's boss was right there and got her. So I kept shooting. <laughs> yeah. And eventually her her boss runs inside. After threatening to make me pay. I'm like, yeah, whatever. So I continue to <laughs> terrorize her and my daughter had also, in the meantime, had when she had the gun, was also getting my wife. I was also shooting my wife as well. That was fun. Um, you know, meanwhile, the only thing that's happening to me is my lower half of my legs are wet because I'm sitting with my feet in the pool. So... Eventually I stand up and start walking around. My wife's boss's husband stand, standing at the back door. It's going out to the grill. So I figured he was just made in the grill and just kind of keeping an eye on things on this side. But it was still a little awkward. Of course, that doesn't really make alarm bells in my head go off because... I'm a real big genius. So, eventually, all of a sudden the door opens and here comes my wife and her boss with a bucket each of water. So I go and I, I'm running around the pool doing my best to not get myself pinned in to where she can't get me. My wife dumps her bucket on my oldest daughter. Oldest daughter proceeds to get in the pool because at this point now, why not? And then I get nailed. And then someone gets the pool pool cannon and starts shooting me. Needless to say, I was no longer dry. But it was a good time. The hijinks of my family. What we get started going on at our neighbor's house. Or not neighbor's, but her boss's house. But it was a fun party. Got a chance to take my pipe bag. Enjoy a pipe by the poolside. And then enjoy a pipe while during the fireworks. And just realize that despite all the craziness in the world, there are elements where we can still take the time to slow down and just smile at life and enjoy it no matter what differences we may have with one another. It was real nice. 
a couple days before that my wife and the daughters had an overnight at the in-laws and I actually had to go physically into the office this time for a few hours for a whole bunch of nonsense that I'm not going to get into So I'm sitting there at the end of the day. And I was mindful to take a pipe and some tobacco with me. She as my wife and kids weren't going to be home. I might be able to accomplish something with a pipe somewhere else. So I went to the B&M that I usually get stuff at. sat down and relaxed with a couple bowls there chat with the staff and the older gentleman who came in to smoke his pipe talked with him about how life was growing up in the 1700s man knew every street in the Columbus area and as one of the staff said he knows every street in Columbus and most of the ones that aren't there anymore so when he's telling his stories you can't really tell when he mentions a road if that one's really there anymore or not that was an adventure But it was a good time. <sighs> nice to sit and chat with folks that you don't occasionally, don't normally have an opportunity to. Especially for me, since I'm really someone who enjoys being anchored at home don't necessarily particularly like parties or big gatherings socially I'm pretty awkward until I get to know you so God knows why I'm sitting here in front of a video camera talking to folks but oh well all of our little idiosyncrasies go out the door every now and again yeah how about these fireworks right it was a heck of a show one point my daughter and my wife got into giggle fits during the show because they had these fireworks that kind of shot sparkles up as they went but didn't boom at the end but as they were going up the sound was <laughs> sounded like some baby crying My oldest was just dying laughing. Shows that was going on. They had like a good minute and a half of those going, I think. About a minute, actually. Whatever. And... You're setting them off about once every three or four seconds. And then he got to the guy's got to the point, I think, in his plan that 
he'd had about enough of them, so he started launching them one every second, it seemed. <coughs> Sent my wife and daughter into just absolute more giggle fits. So that was entertaining. And you would have heard them if my phone hadn't been acting like a stubborn three-year-old in front of a bowl of pea soup. I'm here for you, curmudgeon all out of daggummit. I was so excited to get up. I was going to put that whole video on that night. Just that you all could see and experience a little bit of the booms. Because it was fabulous. And then when I got it all into the video editor, I hit play to see how everything was going. And then all of a sudden, silence. I was so sure mad. That is how life goes, right? Eventually you just got to let go and understand that these are things that are put there. The experiences are still unchanged. You know, you guys will get to enjoy the visual here, which I guess is nice. There were just a lot of special things about that night. I really enjoyed. And mostly because it was just time to, that I could separate with my wife and my two little girls. And yes, one's 14, the other's 10. They're still my little girls. You all know that. It was just a nice time to sit down and count my blessings. You know, the oldest is 14, knows exactly everything about the world, doesn't have a big problem with telling me her opinion. Still my little girl. And she will grieve me to the end of her days, just as I'm sure that I grieve my parents. My dad now, mom I don't grieve anymore because she's home with the Lord. But in the end, even in those grievings, even in those times of difficulty with the kids, you know. I've got to count it all joy. That's James 1, verse 2, if you're interested. Hmm. Are you back, wasp? Yeah, you want to die now? Finally? No? Speaking of grievings, how do you count a wasp, Joy? <laughs> I also wanted to do a shout out. Watched three or four of his videos so far. Channel name and the fellow's name is Edward Hobbs. I'll try to remember to put a link in the comment or I'll 
bucket area niner. You got one video at least of where he's walking around a ghost town in I think the New Mexico area. Pretty cool dude. Got a nice bass voice. You could sit down and listen to him for a while. You should check him out if you get the opportunity. So, so there you go. Anyway. I think I rambled on enough. Count your blessings. Be thankful for them. When it's all said and, joy and said and done. Grace and peace to you.